Hello everyone and welcome to Stellaris uh, at the time of the release of the Ancient Relics pack version 2.3.1 Wolf or Wolf I'm not, I'm not sure how it's supposed to be said but anyway here we are in this new version new version new DLC new everything the other playthrough that's gone forget about it because I don't know how much it's gonna change the way the game's played. Maybe not much, maybe it will. But what I'm thinking is let's start a new one. And I'm gonna do a mega corporation. Let's just start real quick. And press final out. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Let's create a new one. Because I already have one, but I wanna make a new one. Oh, what is this? Something is stuck in the UI? <laughs> ah, that's a uh, paradox. What the hell, man? Yep, it's stuck. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume that it's going to fix itself after it loads. If it doesn't, pff, okay. We'll see. Let's see. Humans, machines, millions. Hmm. I'm wondering if we should do machines or not. Because the idea of, of the corporation that I want to make is that it survived the collapse of Earth. Um, but it continues to be the corporation that, that it used to be. It never stopped being the corporation. And it just exists as such. So it continues to do its own thing as a corporation. Mm. Let's see. Let's see, let's 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 go with it, let's see what happens. This name. Let's see. What was it? Copper C650. Um PC access for Vision Competitiva, which is which means in English it's competitive vision. And X is for the range of Weapon platforms that were never really to be released or be seen by the public. It's an internal type of let's, let's say it's it's weapons that only the corporation had. They were never intended to be released. And 14 is um there's there's more backstory to the number 14 than just the number itself. But the important thing is that it it symbolizes a lot for the corporation that 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 something that holds in the number 14 is still alive. Even when the, when the when the original when the original Division 14 is, is long gone, they basically continue their their legacy. Let's see. Can use that. I know it's I know it's I, I don't even know what what the plural will be. So it's gonna go with that. Humanoid, no. Machines. Uh, kinda, kinda, kinda. Jinten, clear. Uh, yeah, no. Hmm. No, this, this this is more akin. Okay. Now here's the thing. So when when the corporation made these machines, these were custom made. So they were custom made because the corporation would fit them at, at their their need and will. So mass production is not an option. And it will probably take us a while for us to get to that point where we can actually fix that out. Let's see, corporate power work. Cycle high maintenance. Mm, let's see. Cool jointed. Colossal lower units with flexible joints. Mm, nah. Nope. No, it's it's. These are not machines that will give you amenities. Not at all. 
Uncanny. Those monstrous machines were created at the image of one of the most horrific species in the universe, and the resemblance is uncanny. I mean, I use uncanny because it, it does it does go behind the idea that the corporation would come and create some very monstrous machines that they were never intended to be seen by the public for, for many reasons. One of them being the fact that these are very highly advanced models. Second is that they were made for war. They, there's there's no hiding that fact. So it, they, they were made with that intention in mind. Especially since they're fighting humans, not machines. So the fact that they're uncanny, it's, it's not exactly that they're created to the image of the most horrific species in the universe. That doesn't even make sense. And how will you even know what the most horrific species of the universe is if you're still on your planet. Anyway, hmm. learning algorithms. Why? Because they are machines that also were meant to to work on their own. By the end of, of the uh, by the end of the human period, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I don't even know what's the correct name to use her. By the end of humanity as a dominated species, this had to learn and, and progress and, and just adapt because humans were not able to to help machines out, period. Let's see. I'm not sure if if assembly speed oh okay, so it's assembly speed and assembly cost. Okay. Luxurious. Yep. Sounds about right. Although... Yeah, I mean, Luxurious makes, makes sense. These were machines that were very costly. But, we can use this. Efficient processors. Logical engines. You know what? I'm gonna change. There we go. So it's sufficient processors and logic engines. That, that, will, that will make that will make more sense. Efficient processors. I mean, this were made. This were made to be not durable per se. To actually. To actually be something that that would. We managed to get something done. What I'm trying to say is. Done in the, in the most efficient manner. I mean, it's a machine. It's, it, has to, it has to it has to find the best way to do it. And for that, obviously, you need to have you need to have human reasoning at some point. And no, machine learning is not human reasoning. Just if you were wondering, machine learning is just <sighs> machine learning nowadays, as, as we use it or call it, is just algorithms. That's it. There's there's no heavy decision making in that. Something that was built to replace the notion or idea that AI had not progressed to the point. Like, if, if you ever look at the history of that, there were programming languages that were made with that idea in mind, like Lisp, but they never picked up as intended, and it was abandoned as a project. And then we come to this point where we have machine intelligence. Basically, the same thing it, it, it works and it doesn't work, and it, it, lets, it needs human intervention. See, in facility. Mm. I mean, I could name that. I can name it that. Let's see. It has to be the soul system. Star, star name soul. Why? Because it we're on Earth, basically. But we're gonna change that in just a bit. Facility. Uh, no wait. I don't know if it's gonna make uh, allow me to make this. Set this in Spanish means distribution center. So the external distribution center. That's that's. It sounds a lot silly, but 
makes sense in my mind. Mammalian CD, okay. Uh, just to... Oh, actually no, we, we can use just to consciousness. So, here is where we start getting into the complicated territory because I don't even know how this is gonna work out. Um, each other in... Um, I, I, yes, of course, the, the, this, this corporation fight against other corporations and this is the only surviving one, so I, that makes sense. Proud prospectors, proud township, nope. Media conglomerate, nope. Free traders, no, they were not free traders. Franchising. No. Criminal heritage. Yes, criminal heritage does make sense, but I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, oh yeah, we have to figure out. Okay. Let's see some materialists. Authoritarian. Militaristic. Yeah, the corporation never completely focused on one thing. But, let's see, indentured servants. Smart corporations specialize in large indentured workforces. This has little to do with the barbaric practice of slavery. These workers are merely paying off their debts indefinitely, of course. Naval contractors, naval capacity. What about military companies? Naval contractors make sense if, if we're moving into space. I would see it as something that would happen. Now as for the other stuff, franchising. Oh, that's nice. Media conglomerate. Oh wait, but we are actually not not just uh, just all consciousness. We are humans in a way. Ruthless competition. I can use ruthless competition because yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense to pick that up. Ah, there. See, there we go. That's the thing. Current government is not compatible with selecting like, machine port to request machine intelligence. Ah, oh, that's sad. Wah wah. Okay. So we're gonna have to go for humans. Traits, gotta change those. Ooh, that's sad. Ah, uh, that's, 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 that's pretty sad. I wanted to try that out. <laughs> Let's see. Industrious, ingenious. Industrious, let's see. Not adaptive, obviously. Because we're humans, we don't easily adapt to our environments. We adapt to our environments. Or also oh. Nomadic. Kinda maybe. Sanitary. Coming all. Charismatic. Mmm. Will make sense. Because corporation doesn't give a shit. That's that's how I can put it. It doesn't make it doesn't care how much resources it spends. If we're, if we're ah, crap, sorry, we're gonna change. Change that. Huh, okay, that actually figured that out, okay. Oh wow. <laughs> they, what, when, when did they add this? Is this is this because of Rome? Probably it is. Probably it is. Alright. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're back in action. Wasteful and not adaptive, industrious. Fleeting. Yes, we're fleeting. Oh, yes, indeed. Venerable. Nope. No, we're not very strong. And we're also not rapid breathers. We are intelligent, though. 
pretty. Natural engineers. No, it's where is it? There we go. Natural physicists. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Industrious, natural physicists, and intelligent. Which one are adaptive? Okay. Okay. Earth. Man City. Okay. Next. Extra voice. As, as the learned say, say what's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. It's mine. It's mine. Yep. That's a little right. Okay. Okay, so. So, I'm just gonna use the same names. It, it's always a plane and plane with the name. <clears throat> it's always BCI. So it's it's versus it's BC, it's BCI as Mission Competitiva Integral, Integral. Then it's International, and then it's Interplanetary. So it's all it's always a play with, with the same three letters. Which makes sense. At least to me, it does make sense. Let's see, corporate. Nope. No, that makes sense to me. There we go, there we go. That's that's the emblem of the corporation. Nice. Let's throw the colors. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm liking that. I'm sorry, but I just have to do it. I, I, I have to do it, even though even though I want to play it fair, but no, green post. Oh yeah, and this, this and the first brawl. We're gonna have to figure this one out. Look at that. Batista. So why Giovanna? Because everyone, everyone in the family that runs this corporation is called Giovanni Batista, from the original founding father. Okay. Hmm. That makes more sense. Room. Ah, uh, none of them convince me. Maybe this one. Twenty. Uh, I think it's gonna be twenty. I know my computer is not going to be able to handle that quite well. Fancy as starts. Two fallen empires, two or other empires. Ugh, I'm going to leave it as one. Prime civilizations up the Wasu. Crisis strength one. Start. Da -da 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 -da. Name start. Victory year. Okay. Scale difficulty. Let's leave it on. Let's see what happens. We're well, probably going to get our asses handed to ourselves, but okay. And replacement clusters. Uh, What's the other option? Random. No, clusters. Clusters fine. Advanced network. Nope. Hyperland density. One. Abandoned gates with one. Warhol pairs. One. Guaranteed habitable worlds. One. Carving your son. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens.